All right, you guys, so we are headed out for Tucson day four. There's my car, but there's a massive truck in the way. So I don't know how I'm gonna get out of here, but hopefully they'll be done soon so we can get on our way. We're gonna go to some gem shows a little bit further away today. Uh, Madagascar Minerals is one of the shops we're gonna hit. So super excited to see what we find today. All right, you guys, we just got here. Um, this place is only about 15 minutes from the hotel. A lot of the places are about 15 minutes from the hotel. This is a freestanding building that looks like it's here permanently, so it's not in a tent. So I'm excited to see what this place has. These seem to be all Madagascan minerals. So let's go take a peek inside. super cool they're for your kitchen so you have labradorite dyed agate amethyst <laughs> i've never seen this before that one looks like leopard <laughs> septarian amazonite look at how high quality these rose quartz buffaloes are. I'm gonna grab some buffaloes and some hearts. If you look over here, look at these. High, high, high quality Amazonite. And look at how gorgeous these are. Look at the color on them. So I'm definitely gonna get some carvings here. And they even have some fire agate and carnelian. So I'm super loving these. Okay, you guys, so we are at the next show. It's just over there in a couple of the buildings back there. I just ended up getting some super cute carvings from that Madagascar place, and they had some insanely high quality crystals, like some of the highest quality I have ever seen. And the carvings were definitely a little bit more expensive, so I will have those listed for a sale. They are very, very, very special pieces, so the prices will be a little bit higher but let's go see what else we can find at these little clusters of shows over here okay so there's like different halls that you can go into and there's a little food truck here so let's go into the halls and see what we find we had a program a number of years back that, and it, was they called, were on it. it was called prospectors mm -hmm. oh wow that's so cool Wow. Apparently not, but he was positive with several things in his school. Oh, he didn't even wrap that. Jeez. Those guys are detecting <laughs> radioactivity. They had radioactivity detectors. So they were detecting them. So they're making that noise because. They're making the noise, yeah. Are and they're detecting. Are you doing a video? Yeah. Okay, well, then you can hear. We've got the speakers covered up so you can hear it very well. But. Okay. And then this is detecting, you said radio activity? Radioactivity. Right. Wow. So gamma, which one gamma, is. Gamma rays. This, this one is very radioactive. Okay. Yeah. That's so cool. I love that. Thank you so much for so, showing me. You're welcome. All right, you guys. So I just finished up all of these, and there's some in the back that I'm going to go take a peek at. These are definitely super, super, super high quality museum grade pieces. So I definitely say don't come here first. Sorry if it's super windy because you will just run out of money, but super cool. All right, you guys, I am back in the car. I ended up getting some salt pink bubblegum pieces from Searles Lake. They're called Halite and they're so, so, so beautiful. So I was able to get 10 of those. That's pretty much all I bought because the Mineral City show is a very expensive show. So I recommend coming here maybe on your last day because everything here is super 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 expensive they're personal collection pieces they're really more high-end luxury shop so it's very much like a museum versus like a wholesale environment there are some shops that do offer wholesales a lot of them were doing 
50% off, but they were 50% off $5,000. So just keep that in mind, but really, really fun to see if you guys kind of have a slower day. I highly recommend coming to check out the show. Since this is my last full day here, I kind of wanted to do a slower, not so crazy day. I've kind of bought most everything that I was on the hunt for. So yeah, I'm super happy that I came to the show. They had a little food truck and everything. So just a fun experience. So I'm going to go see if there's any other shows around here. And it's honestly getting towards the end of today. I think this day went by really fast. I tried to get as much footage as I could, but some of those pieces they didn't want you to film because they were so expensive. So I tried to film as much as I could, but it was a lot of the same and a lot of thousand to twenty to fifty thousand dollar pieces. So just a really cool experience overall. Okay, so the next place we are going to is the mineral co-op. So and this has fossils too. Let's go see what's inside. Oh, this place is huge. So there's tons of crystals all the way down the halls. So let's go in. These are all huge. These are Arkansas quartz. Well, that was a fun show to stop by. There is lots of individual shops in there. Some were selling pieces, some was more so museum pieces, but really cool to see they had a ton of fossils and huge pieces. So yeah, it was just fun to go look around. I didn't end up buying anything because everything was huge, but there are a couple really nice rough pieces and fossils if you're interested in that. So definitely just a fun place to stop and shop and look. Okay, you guys, and now I have the task of packing everything that I got away. I have these three bags there's stuff in here then i have like five boxes in the car so i'm gonna go get those and then all of that over there sorry it's so messy <laughs> so this is the rest of the stuff i need to get <laughs> this 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 and this and then i have a couple more things in the front i'm nervous about getting these home <laughs> in my suitcases but we shall see how this goes okay <laughs> that's everything we got two big bags there these these these, these, those, these, that. <laughs> oh, I am like out of breath. <laughs> I had to carry all these because the parking spot closest to my room <laughs> was taken and I don't want to do this at night. <laughs> so I had to like haul them all the way over here <laughs> and like all the cleaning people were just looking at me as I'm like huffing and puffing. So I'm probably gonna take most of these out of the boxes <laughs> so I can fit them in my two suitcases. You guys wanna see some sneak peeks of what I got? I will show you some of the pieces. Oh, these are gorgeous. So these are high quality garnets with star flash. You can't really see them because the lighting is not that great, but they're insane. I only got four of them. And then I did get some gnarly pink amethyst pieces that I will show you. Oh, and I got this material from Brazil. It's so pretty. The lighting is like really washing these out, so I'm sorry that they're not the greatest, but I'll show you this super big piece. 
I'll have to repack these all, <laughs> of course, to fit in my suitcase, but look at that. It's gorgeous. I'm gonna have to do a haul of all of these. And these are some of the other things I got. These are so freaking beautiful. They're hummingbirds. Okay, so the front desk was kind enough to let me borrow packing tape. I'm gonna open this box and see if I can fit it in the suitcase. And if not, cause I still have all of this. If not, I'm gonna put all of this in here and check this cause this isn't very heavy, but it's like really padded. So the crystals will be protected, but then I have to wheel around these two bags <laughs> and this box. So I'm trying to decide if I want two luggages and them to be really heavy or potentially check two and then carry one on. So. Let's see what we can do. The good news is all of the pink Himalayan is packed to go. So that's good. And there's still like half the room. Oh my gosh, you could, look at how cool these are. These are parrot, green, and peach moonstone. Like, aren't they gorgeous? And then of course I had to get these, you guys. These are so rare. I only got a few because they're expensive. So you can see there's a ton of room in here, so I could either take these pieces out and put them in that luggage and then split the difference. I'll have to try it a few ways, but yeah, I do have room in this box to ship stuff, so that's an option. All right, you guys, I'm wrapping it up for today's vlog. I think I got all of the crystals situated in the right suitcases, and it's gonna be a lot to carry to the airport tomorrow. That was the person above me, if you heard that. She's probably packing her bags too. But yeah, I head home tomorrow, so I won't really be going to any shows because I have to leave for the airport around nine, so I won't be doing any shows tomorrow. So that was the end of the Tucson trip. I'll Hope you guys enjoyed it and i will have a super awesome haul of everything i got for the next video so you guys can see all the beautiful pieces and then i will start slowly listing things on etsy as i get them unpacked and we got a huge shipment when i was away so there's gonna be tons and tons and tons of new inventory so lots to look forward to so thank you guys so much for joining me on this journey and i love you all so much and i'll see you in the next video I'd like to give a special thank you to all of my Patreon members. If you are looking for exclusive business advice, consider joining us. We have three tiers available and you can get all the business advice you need for just $10 a month and access to an exclusive crystal community. You'll get the opportunity to network with other shops, make friends, and join me in the Discord. Everything is linked in my description box. See you there.